Just in on the immigration reform battle with some Republicans now urging lawmakers to stay focused on what's really important, protecting the so-called dreamers and not allow themselves to be distracted by the president's reported disparaging comments. What I heard I didn't like. And I'm trying to solve the problem. So I'm going to focus on what comes next. What comes next is a bipartisan proposal that will have a DACA solution and hope we'll have a down payment on fixing the broken immigration system. I think this is a president who would like to solve the DACA issue. This is a president who I believe wants to secure the borders of the United States. This is a president who has said things differently than clearly I would say them publicly. Joining us now, Dan Palmer, Republican financier, con uh, contributor to The Hill and former advisor to Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz. Jim Kessler is also with us, former legislative and policy director to Senator Chuck Schumer and senior vice president for policy and co-founder of Third Way. Jim, are Democrats willing to shut the government down if they don't get a DACA deal? I think it's possible. This was a promise that the president made. He made it months ago when he uh, made uh, deferred action on DACA and said he was going to end that program. This is a problem of his making. Democrats said they want to get it solved. We're going to see if the president's going to tell the truth or not. So far, he hasn't been very good at telling the truth. How is it a problem of his making? It's a problem of his making because it was his choice to say we are going to end the DACA program and set up a deadline. And this is the deadline that he set up. And if you look at his tweets from that day, he said, DACA recipients have nothing to worry about. We're going to solve it by this date. But as you can tell, the things that the president says, you can't really believe. Dan, let me get your thoughts on that, because there are a lot of people who say previous presidents, previous Congresses had a huge role in, in where we are today. There's no question. Um, unless you light a fire into Congress, nothing gets done. Uh, the president, uh, you know, calling for the end of DACA by a certain deadline at least brought the Democrats to the table. But let's not forget, DACA is a symptom. It's not the problem. The problem is the immigration policy of the United States is not serving its citizens and the future of the country very well at all. We have basically unlawful, unrestricted mass migration flooding the unskilled job market and wrecking havoc on our society. Society. That's an uh, ill-advised uh, path, and Democrats who want to spend all their time talking about uh, identity politics and accusing the president of this and that and language in a meeting are ducking the issue. We need to have a serious debate about immigration policy in this country. Jim, the, the, the Democrats have indicated, you know, they're, they're willing to shut down the government. That hurts the military, does it not? The Democrats indicated they're willing to solve the immigration problem. They passed a bill in 2013 with bipartisan support that should have been, uh, that should have been signed into law, and the wacko Tea Party in the House killed that bill. Look, we've had government shutdowns before. They usually last a couple of days. That might happen this time. It's up to the president to show some leadership, to show that he is not a bleep hole president, and to solve this problem and to be serious about it. It's on him at this point. It's not on Democrats. Well, I, I don't know, Dan. I mean, you know, it's up to Congress to write law, and what we need is an immigration law. The president said months ago that he wanted Congress to solve the problem. Why has Congress not picked up the ball? I think you have to look at Democratic leadership and, frankly, um, the most moderate members of the Republican caucus, like Flake and Graham, who are, in fact, acting in bad faith. Uh, you know, the president had a very uh, public televised meeting with uh, the leadership of the Congress a week ago. He came out and said, look, I understand you're concerned about DACA, and I'll help you on that issue. But I need the three pillars. I need border security. I need an end to chain migration. I need an end to lottery migration. We're going to replace it with a merit-based system. Since that time, the Democrats have run back to their corner and uh, talked about race and identity politics and everything except uh, the issues. That's bad faith. If they're serious, you have to solve the other person's problems, not just your own. Well, uh, the the Democrats are saying, look, if you give us everything we want. Go, go, all right, go ahead, Jim. The president certainly made that easy to do. Look, the president, when that bipartisan deal showed up, the first thing he did is he said he supported and he invited the leaders to come over to do it. And then in two hours, he changed his mind. I mean, we need a little backbone here from the president. And it, look, you can't blame Democrats because the president uses off color remarks about people of a different race. That's the 
that's the, the cross that we have to bear with this president right now. That well, is not Democrats' fault. You know, with, with all due respect, Jim, there are a lot of presidents who have used off-color <coughs> off language, uh, LBJ among them, but it uh, generally didn't leave the Oval Office. Well, I think we have a president this time where things are going to leave the Oval Office and who is breaking all sorts of rules and conventions. And, you know, frankly, he had a deal with these bipartisan senators and then he broke it. And, you know, and then made a fool of himself because he thought it would appeal to his base. And he reached out to his base after those comments and thought it was good for him. I saw Eric Erickson's tweet saying that, yeah, the president's people reached out to him to talk about the, the comments that he made. So they thought this was good for them. They should, uh, uh, President Trump should stop playing race politics and sh should start solving this DACA problem. Well, uh, Dan, some people would say, you know, this is an example of the swamp that the president went to Washington to try to drain. There's no question. This man was elected to be a disruptor. He, uh, his whole campaign, the catalyst for it was border security and our change to the immigration laws of this country. An overwhelming majority of the Republican primary electorate uh, supported him in those positions. And now he's won the presidency. And it would be completely inappropriate at this stage to just be a president of the status quo, rubbing along with Dick Durbin and Lindsey Graham mm -hmm. and Jeff Flake, uh, perpetuating the problem. We'll Here's see. the first opportunity to really be serious about resolving what is a failed immigration system. We will see what happens Friday at midnight. Gentlemen, thank you. Dan Palmer, Jim thank Kessler. Thank you. Thanks for your thoughts.